Thanks very much. Time now is 17 minutes past six. Now, as many as six million people will cut back their heating this winter because they are afraid of the cost. But many of them could get help that will reduce their bills by hundreds of pounds. Paul Lewis from Radio 4's Moneybox is here to tell us more. Perfect timing, Paul, because there's a, a nip in the air, as Carol was telling us, and it's that moment when you think, maybe I'll put the heating on or maybe... We won't, we'll wait. Yes, it certainly is. This week, I must confess, I put mine on for a couple of hours, but lo a lot of people are very concerned about that because of the rising prices. SSE put their price up. Uh, we're expecting other companies to follow suit. The price of crude oil has been going up. So heating is getting more expensive, and there are some deals that are running out at the end of September with, with big firms. So although you've had a reasonable deal, you might find your price goes up anyway. So yes, there are important things to consider, and this survey by the charities found uh, three out of ten households of six million would actually cut back on heating rather than put it on as soon as they feel like it. Mm. And there is good news, some good news out there, because you yeah. can get help from some places, can't you? You can, and you know, this help is available in many cases to everyone. It doesn't depend on your income or whether your your age or your, your condition. The big energy companies, SSE, EDF, Scottish Power, British Gas, they're all offering free insulation to all their customers, and some of them, I think it's EDF, offers it to absolutely anybody. Oh. Um, if you are on a low income, some of them will actually give you money as well as free insulation. So it's well worth asking your energy company first. People are getting flyers from local councils through the door. And there is a lot of money out there for free insulation and free help with heating. Do you think part of the reason the take-up has not been that high is that people are instinctively suspicious of uh, something that comes through their letterbox saying this is free. I have to confess I'm a bit like that. I mean, if I get flyers through the letterbox, they tend to go straight in the bin. But some of them can be useful. So if it's free energy, you know, you can contact. The Energy Saving Trust is a good place to start, which is, what is it, 0300, uh, 0300 123 1234, which is quite an easy number, 0300 123 1234. Throughout the United Kingdom, that can give you help and advice. So it's worth inquiring. The other thing is called Warm Front in England. It's got different names in Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland, but it's all very similar. And that is for low income people. And that goes well beyond insulation. That can upgrade your heating system, which can be even more important, whether it's central heating, closing in a fire so that you have a glass front to it, all that kind of thing. And that can save you hundreds of pounds a year. And again, for most of those low income categories, that's pensioners on pension credit, families with children, uh, people with disabilities, if their income is low, that can be free. So it's well worth doing. Um, it does sound sort of unbelievable, doesn't it, that people are actually out there going to help you for free. Yeah. So where can people find most information? What's the best thing that they should do? Well, there's a lot of places. I'm going to be tweeting the details later and putting it on a blog. But yes. the, the, the 0300 123 1234 Energy Saving Trust, that's a very Start good there. starting place. But whether it's a local council, and, you can get... And how do you know when these things come through your, your letterbox box that they are real? Well, that's why I'd ring Energy Saving Trust, because, you know, you've got to be careful of... of I'm sure there are some cowboys out there. Mm. But the money hasn't been spent. The energy companies, the Warm Front scheme in England, haven't spent all their money, and they've got to get it spent this winter. So make sure you get your share of it, because it's, it's money out there. Yes, Paul, thanks very much. Thank and we'll you. make sure those numbers are also on... The BBC Breakfast website as well. Paul, thanks. Now, a new restaurant is opening its doors.